We're here at the transmission shop on this early morning. Had to bring the transmission cooler from. It was held up at a local FedEx right in our close town, so I grabbed it. And uh, we're gonna get in here and get this on the truck and then it's gonna be good to go. What is up, Blood and Proud Cat? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I just got Nasty Red back and it, it's awesome. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I just picked up the truck and it was getting done and built at maximum overdrive and I believe it's called Red Key, Indiana. Really good shop, it's a smaller shop, but they're like, we've been building these transmissions for years and the guys that work there, it's not like to get new guys all the time. The one guy said, I've been building transmissions here since I was 18 and he said he's been there 10 years now and another guy said he's been there for, since he was 18 too and he's been there, I think even longer, I think quite a bit longer than the other guy. So, um, I mean, they've just, he's had the same guys just working and working and working and when you do that, you get really good at what you do. They warranty the work and all that stuff and so it's, I'm really excited about the work that they did. And the transmission was actually done, I think he said in two days, the build was done. He said they were just waiting on this stupid transmission pan from a company that kept messing up their order. I'll leave their contact information down in the description. They're about an hour south of Fort Wayne, straight south off Route 1. And I actually had some fans messaging me, bro, is your truck at maximum overdrive? And and I was like, how did you know? Apparently there's some of you guys that live in this real small town. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, so that's where I got the truck done. I'm probably gonna be taking more stuff there. So far the truck has driven absolutely awesome since we've got it back and we've been driving it home. You know, warranty to work, really good people. And so, yeah, information down in the description below. They'll take care of you. He wanted me to let you guys know, like they don't do cheap work, they do good work. So anyways, guys, me and my buddy Jeshua, check out his YouTube channel, Jeshua F. We're gonna be hanging out today. Gonna do a little driving nasty right here and then maybe talk to you guys about a couple other things. Once we get closer to the house or we find another stop sign, you know, outside of a little town so we're not smoking people out on the sidewalk, trying to be mindful of that, I'll try to get a little acceleration because like the real notice when you, with this transmission, is when you stop obviously like from a go, like from a dig, you notice how it shifts through the gears nice and firm, but it, it moves a lot more than it did, like because it's, it's grabbing the ground and going and not just, you know, revving way too high and, lightly shifting through gear. So here, we're all, I mean, we're down to like, we're not stops, but there's no oncoming traffic behind. Just that one truck driving away. We'll punch it at 20. to take it over 70 miles an hour in a 60 here. It keeps your shift points nice and high so you don't lose all that, you don't have a bunch of lag and you lose all that boost and all that power. So I like it, I'm really happy with it. I think my dad's gonna be pretty happy with it too. He's only driven it with the stock transmission in it, the stock transmission you know, capability. So I think that's gonna be, I think it's gonna be an eye-opening experience to be able to drive this and feel it just grab and go and have the shift points very, very nicely done. and. It's good, it's gonna be sweet. So, we'll get you guys back in a little bit. Okay guys, so we're back in Nasty Red, of course. I already showed you a little bit of a run without Jesh in the truck, but I'm gonna have him film a little bit, get his reaction. Do you remember when we were in Nasty Red last and drove it? Do you remember the difference at all? Uh, I'm trying I to get some witness it was, difference here. It was, we drove it really slow because it, it didn't yeah, want to go the other way. Blow the tranny. It's a straight shot the other way. Okay. Yeah, so, first off, we babied it because we didn't want to hurt the trans or anything, but um, it just it just wasn't stiff, you know, it wasn't firm shifts and stuff like that, so we're going to get on it here and just get your reaction, I guess, to it. Yeah. pretty fast. A 65. And you know what I noticed? At 80 miles an hour, it only 
only goes 2100 RPM. Wow, at 80. It doesn't like launch super fast, but when you're rolling and you punch it, it just flies. It's definitely a lot better than it was, to say the least. Before getting to the topic of today's video, like the, the real hype of it, um, I mean the transmission's really, I mean, I mean that's the thing that's pretty good to be uh, excited about, but I want to talk about first the transmission, then we'll get to the other big topic of the video. Of course you can't see the internals, obviously I get that, but I can show you what they did under here. You can see what they did under here. I believe they just painted the case, obviously, probably sprayed it. And then uh, you got the deep transmission pan with a, I believe there's a fan cooler in there too. Um, I mean, just everything he was going through, showing me all the little things that they were doing in there. And he's like, "Yeah, he's like, this is a, it's a pretty good setup." He's like, "You should be, you should be plenty fine for what you guys are doing with it." Um, he's like, "And to say it's an upgrade is an understatement from what it was." So, really happy about that. Hopefully we can get a lot of use long term out of this thing. Transmission heat exchanger under here and he came up with this kind of design himself in the shop. Him and his shop guys. And basically what he did was he drilled a hole through there. He ran a bolt through to help hold these where they are. And then he welded these three inch exhaust clamps on there. And then he put some, you know, uh, rubber tubing around them to support it so it's not metal on metal rubbing. Put some fittings in there, stuff like that. Ran a hose out one side, ran a hose out the other side, through the frame where it's not going to rub on a bunch of stuff. And then um, that's how he's got the heat exchanger ran. It's pretty cool. Looks pretty good. And so he said it should be plenty fine the way that it is. And so we're really happy that uh, he was able to make it work and get it on there everybody so let's get to the big news that i was talking about the atv giveaway is done it's wrapped up atv slash five thousand dollars cash the winner's not drawn yet the winner should be drawn this upcoming monday so after this weekend the very first monday that's coming around the winner will be drawn you'll be contacted by the guy doing the drawing third party i have nothing to do with it other than hosting the giveaway um, and then he'll contact you once he has the winner nailed down then he'll let me know who it is we'll go from there so that giveaway is pretty much in terms of like selling the merch to get entered, that's out of the way. So the next thing coming up, you can come stand over here if you want to, Joshua. Joshua's got a YouTube channel too. We're going to be starting to film a lot of videos. He just had a GoPro, batteries hard to come by, chargers hard to come by, pain in the butt. But anyways, let's get to the excitement. The first truck giveaway, you guys are super excited, okay? People just love the trucks, right? I think you guys know where I'm going with this. The ATV giveaway, you just got to live and learn, okay? I learn people on a truck channel just don't like ATVs as much. Now, I'm sure a lot of people would love to own one, or if it was, you know, seriously just like, hey, I'm picking one person, I'm just giving you something, of course you'd take it, you know, it's got value of it, it's a brand new machine. But in terms of something you can use every single day that's got more value to it, a little bit more of like, oh, cool, that's yeah. a cool truck, you built that, watched and build it, that's cool, you know what I mean? You almost feel like you know the machine versus that. You know, I don't ever really see it in the video, so it's not like you're really attached to it at all. I got to thinking more, and I'm like, you know what, let's just do, we're going to do another giveaway, and this time it's going to be another truck. But what I want you guys to decide, and this is a big decision, which truck do you guys want us to give away? Nasty Red, the Dually, or the Red 5 Speed First Gen? Because that was, that was just kind of like a bonus truck I picked up, and I was like, oh, this is cool, I got a really good deal on it, you know, and I'm just like, you know what, though, um, I'll put that up, I would... I would let that be an option for the next giveaway too. If you guys have enough votes on it, I'd put that up for a giveaway. So, you guys got a lot to think about. Don't think too hard. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Let's see what truck you guys want us to give away the most, okay? And then um, we'll take some thinking, do some sorting out, figure out what we want to do, and then we'll get back to you guys as to exactly which one you guys want to do. And before anybody jumps up and says, oh dude, don't give away trucks. Don't do that. We just want you to do build content. Only build content. Um, we don't really want you guys to give away trucks or you know stuff like that. Let me kind of explain to you. I've done this before, but some people seem to miss it every time, but that's all right. We're here to let you guys know some things. When it comes to the giveaways, the whole point of the giveaways, even the whole point of the ATV giveaway stuff, the whole point of the giveaways is so that there's more funds coming in to actually be able to build a transmission, to get stuff done on the two-wheel drive first gen coming up, to actually be able to give somebody a truck, you know? So it kind of it kind of pays for a few things. That's the whole point of it. It's not just, you know, like, oh, I just want to sell my merch to as many people as possible and make a bunch of money. It's so I can make better content. That's the whole point of it. Because if I was just trying to live off of YouTube revenue, you can't build, you know, do an expensive transmission build if you're living off of YouTube revenue unless you're 
have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you get tons and tons of views. Even then it can be difficult, even if you're making 30 grand a month, these things are expensive to do. Like it's so expensive, even if you're making that much after, you know, 40% tax, 50% taxes, and your all your other expenses that go in, and $10,000 of mods in a month, you're really not left with much. So the whole point of the giveaways is to just be able to actually, actually build some stuff, you know, because this is what I do full time, and it's an opportunity for somebody to win something cool, something for free, or very, very cheap, you know, the cost of a t-shirt or a decal. And then also it helps with everybody, you know, supporting to be able to win the truck, obviously, but then you get your merch at the same time, but then also so we can build more stuff to bring you guys cooler content. That's why this first gen build that's about to launch, I'm so excited for. I've been talking to some companies back and forth, trying to get their opinions on the, you know, the best parts to run with. And I talked to this transmission shop today about transmission options for the first gen and um, getting everybody's take on it is getting me pretty excited, but it costs a lot of money, you know, so that's that's just kind of the hold up, you know what I mean? That's why this month of the ATV giveaway is really, really slow with content in terms of build stuff, because it just, people just weren't really interested in the ATV, you know? It was one of those things where it just, it just didn't, you know, it just, it didn't do enough to justify spending another 10 grand on building a truck right now, you know? It just wasn't, it wasn't that kind of a giveaway turnout, but um, hopefully, you know, we can do another trick giveaway and we can get a lot more cool content headed your way. You guys just gotta let me know down in the comments below what truck you guys wanna see given away next. Take some votes and we'll think about it. What truck would you get for? I like the Dooley the most, but. <laughs> <laughs> the Dooley's pretty sick. We also got the Red First Gen, which should be back today or tomorrow. Oh really? Yeah, today That's or tomorrow, cool. yeah. And then that'll be back with the, with the new fender put on. That's just what I wanted to share with you guys on the giveaways. It's really to just try to advance the channel forward and give somebody something for free. And at the same time, rewarding you guys for you know buying the merch and stuff, you guys having an opportunity to win something that you've seen get worked on, you know what I mean? Trucks are replaceable, but the smile on somebody's face and that opportunity for somebody to actually win something nice isn't replaceable. You know, Johnny, who won the other 12 valve giveaway, you just couldn't replace the reaction from him, him and his family. And it was just, it was just too incredible to just, the atmosphere was just like thankful, grateful, excited, like everything. It was just, you replace, I mean, you cannot replace something like that. Take your votes, we'll think about it, and we'll get back to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Join the team, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.